Are you a Kenyan living in America and have been craving uji that is porridge and don't know what to do? I got you. This video is all about the perfect uji recipe and joining me is my little son because he's about to steal the show. Watch this video, let me know what you think about the recipe. Also spend a Saturday with us after um, a week of being sick. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're a first time um, visitor, please do subscribe, feel at home. I make videos about motherhood, life in America as a Kenyan, and everything else in between and faith too. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, I love you more than you can imagine. Seriously, honestly. Enjoy the video. Oh, you wanna be seen? Say hi. <laughs> you guys, I just made the most sweetest cup of porridge you ever taste. And I just have to, have to <coughs> mm. share the recipe with y'all. So you wanna know how to make this amazing sweet porridge? go make it hi guys so today is saturday this is the first day of this week that i'm stepping out of the house like literally opening the door and getting out um i just decided i need to get out for a second and just just get some air from outside because this week has been yes papa i know this week has been making we got sick um i lost my voice monday tuesday and wednesday I didn't have a voice um and then after that soon after that my husband lost his voice so we've been dealing with this bug in our house that i don't know what it is because all the tests came back negative like no covid no flu no strep we went for theo same thing none no rsv so i don't know what it is but it's got us really down <clears throat> i've been coughing like night sleep oh I'm not here to complain, I'm just saying it's been difficult. So I'm glad to at least be in a place where I can step out. Because I don't think tomorrow I will be able to go to church. But we'll see. We'll see how we wake up and, and feel. Because um, I don't like to be around people when I'm sick. Especially people with children. So, yeah. Just came here at Target. And I was trying to record a time lapse. That you can see me coming in Target. But... I don't know what happened. I think I stopped recording at some point. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to get in Target. I'm just coming in to buy butter. I might pass by a pop shelf. I, um, just, I think they might have some things I'm looking for, like organizing stuff for the house. Might stop by there for a second. Um, I just Again, I just wanted to get out of the house. I already did the grocery shopping, but there was like one or two things I had um, not picked up. So, yeah, let's go to Target and just breathe some fresh air. You can still hear my voice is struggling. On Monday, I couldn't talk. Like, I literally, my voice was not coming out. So, yeah, let's go to, that, to Target. And then I will go home because I wanted to, I forgot to buy butter. And I want to show you all this Uji recipe that I told you I'm going to show you. Um, and I need butter for it. So, let's go pick up some butter. And then we'll go home and mix that Uji. Okay? Let's go.
sorry guys i went i just came from um pop shelf i forgot to show you guys when i was inside but i got some stuff from pop shelf i'll show you it's not anything much i just wanted some fridge organizers and this little spoon thing for when i'm cooking and i got this jug because you're making uji and i wanted someone to put the uji and i got this little basket thingy for Theo's toys. Uh, today I went inside with my baby carrier because it's not gonna be too long. So yeah, just got those few fridge organizer things. And now I'm headed back home, I think so. Hi baby. Hi, you like being outside? You like being outside? Where do you wanna go? Where you wanna go? Where are you going? <laughs> All right. Um. I might go home straight or I might still pass by home goods and just shop around and see what's good. I'm still I'm I don't know what it is that I want to buy but something I think when I get there is when I'll know what it is that I want but yeah we're just having a nice day out with Theo enjoying the weather it's beautiful right now it's about 60 degrees it's beautiful like this is the best weather to be outside it's not hot it's not humid it's just perfect so yeah we'll see y'all on the next place we go <laughs> i was gonna go to home goods but tmi i have to use the bathroom and before i had a baby i would just walk in target or something i don't know how do you <laughs> moms how do you go to the bathroom when you are like outside with a baby i'm trying to figure it out like do you, do you get my dilemma <laughs> how do you go to the bathroom anyway since i can't figure it out uh i'm just gonna just head home <laughs> and then if we want to step out later we can come back but yeah uh, let me go home so i can use the bathroom it's because i got this coffee and I'm telling you guys, this Starbucks coffee, like, like clockwork as soon as I take it. And not, I know a lot of people, whenever they take coffee, it's like, I gotta go. I gotta go right now. So, TMI. But, yeah, I have to go home because I, the only bathroom I like to use is the one at my house. So, I guess we'll end the shopping there. Let's go home. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the Uji. So I just got back from the store and I did I did use the bathroom here at home. Um, I'm about to clean some dishes and then we will make the OG. I just put baby down to sleep so hopefully I have enough time to clean the dishes, clean up my kitchen because it's a, it's a hot mess and then we'll make the OG. Yeah, let's, let's clean some dishes. this particular one um, usually this is my favorite one from Kenya the Famila but um, you know we don't really find such things here in the store but I've actually there's a lady that sells them on Amazon so I usually buy 
uh, there, but I kind of stopped buying it because it's too expensive. And this kind of gives me almost the same, the same kind of flavor. So I buy this at our church store. Uh, church store has some Kenyan products. So if you want some, please come visit Nema Church Dallas. We do have a Kenyan store that sells some Kenyan stuff. That's where I get my tea, tea bags, joyko, and some other stuff. So this is the unga I use. Disclaimer, this recipe is not for fermented porridge. Personally, I'm not a fan of fermented porridge. If you love fermented porridge, this is not for you. Please click out. But I promise you, if you take this recipe, you're going to love porridge for the rest of your life. I promise you. So yeah, this is the unga we're going to use. And then all we need is butter. Uh, you saw me buying this at Target. I have no idea why I buy this particular brand, this uh, Kerrygold. I only buy it because my husband says it's the best butter. I know that I've tried the others, <laughs> I don't know. So I, he, he introduced me to this, I love it, and I've been buying this butter since since I've met my husband. That's why I use it, there's no other, no other, no other reason. And then you're gonna need your bowl and a whisk, and you will need lots and lots of milk. So again, I if Horizon wants to sponsor me, hey, please do because I am a Horizon fan. Makes the best tea. This is the best tasting milk I've ever tasted in America. To be honest, there's no other milk I go for. This. Uh, it's the best and if I don't find this then organic valley also kind of works it's, it's a good substitute for the but this right here this uh, horizon whole milk that's what you need so I've already put some water to boil um, in the pot it's boiling and what I'm gonna do just to pick to speed this part up I'm just gonna put this on high so that it boils quickly and then we'll get thin now, as the water is boiling, you want to take your unga or flour, put it in a bowl. This is approximately two cups or one and a half cups. And then we'll take our whole milk and um, put it in and uh, start stirring with your whisk. You can use a fork as well if you want to. Um, so the consistency we're looking for is something that can pretty easily so this is still a little bit thick so just add a little bit of milk and um, in this step you can also use water instead um, I just like to use milk because it makes everything taste so much better so you can use water instead of milk if you want to and now you want to take your butter um, just depending on how much water you use kind of just measure with your eyes and then add some milk in there and then you will let this uh, come to boil and once it's boiled and I uh, rumored to have turned the heat to medium and then um, this is the process you, because you don't want those like thick things you want to keep stirring as you pour stir like your life depending on it keep whisking that uji um, because if you don't it's going to lump up and no one likes those lumps so as you can see um, my consistency is becoming thicker and thicker and this is a recipe for disaster if you continue so you see how thick that is um, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of milk so that it stays nice and uh, consistent you don't want it to thicken too much you might be making belly without knowing so I'm um, just adding a little bit of milk um, to the remaining um, unga and then I'll keep stirring and keep stirring keep whisking that uji uh, keep stirring it up I'm still adding more milk to uh, lessen the consi consistency of the uji you don't want it too thick because at the end of the day once the uji is fully cooked and settles it's going to thicken pretty good and that's it and cook for 15 minutes and you're good to go is done and it smells fantastic that's 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 what I was looking for that's exactly 
what I was looking for. Yes, we made it. <laughs> so, try out the recipe. Please let me know how it goes, if you like it, if you love it, if you don't. Again, as I say, this is not for fermented porridge. It's for regular porridge. Regular? I don't know, I'm fermented. Because you can't put the milk in fermented porridge. So yeah, try the recipe. Let me know what you think. And let me know how it tastes. And I will see you guys. I'm going to end this video here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching up to here. Please, if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed yet, what are we doing? What are we doing? I checked my metrics and it says 60% of my viewers have not subscribed. Why? Why? Why are we doing this? If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please, please, it does not cost you a thing to subscribe. It's so free. So please do subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video. Till next time. Bye-bye.